Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Paper Crafting with Amy. Thanks for stopping by. Today I want to use Backyard Bliss. Here's the sticker sheet. And my plan is to add this sheet from the July-September mix-in. So this is the current one in the brand new catalog. Um, it has a little bit of sapphire. It's a lighter version of sapphire and so I don't really have a cardstock to match this. There probably is one like Bluebell or something which was uh, in color. But this works so I'm going to use this. And some almond. I think I'm going to start on this, on this. I think it's almond, I believe. These are the photos I'm planning to use. Um, it's all our backyard here. This one's going to be matted a little bit. I'm planning to use a piece of paper coming down like that. And then these two will go on the end here. So I'm going to need some, some strips, I think, and a, a, a large piece coming down like this. So what I want to show you with this layout is how to preserve paper. So by placing these wood grain pieces just a little away from the edges and creating a frame around the border, it looks, or a border around the edge, it looks like I've used way more of, wood, of the wood grain paper than I actually have. With this wood grain paper, I'm not really a huge fan of the fence looking um, holes, I guess, like the nail right there. You see them on the back of that chicken wire paper. So I cut those off. Another way to preserve paper, I thought, well, if that's my least favorite part of the paper, then I will cut that part off and use it, um, use the flip side, because I really like the chicken wire as well. So there's that little strip of chicken wire going there, and now I'm bringing some of the sapphire mix-in paper to add to the opposing page as well. I'm doing um, three banners. Uh, it's nice to do things in odd numbers, although in the very end I do add up end up adding an accent banner in the pink because I felt I had quite a bit of that flowery paper showing. It's pretty busy for me, especially since I like to incorporate, as you know, lots of photos. Um, I wanted the blue there to frame that picture of me, so I, you just saw me snipping the top so I would know where to cut it, and there it's off. I had a hard time placing that blessed title. That is from my stash. It's like a craft colored title. Um, the picture of my three sons in the hot tub there is framed in the pink, delight pink patterned paper. And then the other ones are framed in white and I've just tucked the white underneath so that it looks like um, the white is continuing all the way through. Another way to hide that you aren't using as much paper as it looks like you're using. There's no need for paper that's going to be covered up to um, not have the middle of it cut out. I, I wish now I had cut out the center of the blue because I covered so much of it out, but I didn't know I was going to do that. And as I said, blessed it, it traveled around quite a bit. Um, another way to conserve, it, this is for conserving stickers, is I found a place I liked this sticker and the reason I, I brought it up higher, in a second you'll see me bring it up higher, was so that I was able to cut off a little piece of it that was going to be underneath that picture there and um, I tucked it in the top of the picture on the far right of my husband. He's actually giving me a foot rub in that picture if you look close, it's pretty awesome doesn't happen very often. Um, those flowers also travel and end up on the opposite side of my picture above. Um, but you'll see where that travels. But there is the, the flowers that I've tucked in above that flag with the picture of my husband there. So that's one sticker cut. No one will ever know that you've made one sticker into two stickers. And now I have the other flower stickers to use in a different layout, which makes me really happy. Um, I'm just layering the stickers. I used a little piece of the banner sticker there. The banner sticker I tried to put all over this layout and I just didn't like it, so I ended up cutting it up. 
Uh, the watering can ended up under the title, which went across the bottom picture there, and I liked it a lot better there in the kind of empty, um, my empty deck area. So it wasn't really disturbing anything, and it showed up better there. These are the bluebell dots. They pretty well match this lighter version of sapphire, sapphire perfectly, so they looked really nice on this layout as well. And uh, I brought the watering can in and those other flowers in popped up so that I was able to put pop up the word blessed without having to put much pop tape under it. I just did the very top of the D and the top of the B. Here's a look at a close up look at the clusters. And my journaling is those three flags on the bottom right, which kind of brings the flags across. Here you also see that I've added the pink little banner. I just needed a little pink there. And I've added little bits of craft paper here and there to bring the craft across the page. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me make this layout. And I hope you'll give me one of those thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Thanks. Bye.